Bill, there's still a lot of heat coming in through that windshield. Is there anything more we can do about that? Well, we can get a windshield cover for the outside, but custom ones start at around $400. What about a knockoff or a universal cover? I found one on Amazon for less than 70 bucks. For less than $70, we can try it. Even if it's not perfect, it has to be better than nothing on the outside of the windshield. This is how we decided to get the ADCO 2600 windshield cover. The question after that is, does it work? In short, yes, it does. It does exactly what it claims to do. It dropped the heat in our coach by a good 10 or more degrees. This is with outside temperatures reaching over 110 degrees in the shade. Other reviewers felt that it looked like an adult diaper on the front of their coach. But I think that is an issue about fitting. This is a universal fit cover. It is not a custom cover by any means. That being said, for $70, I can do some of my own customizing. And that is exactly what I did. To use this cover, you must be able to get on the roof of the RV. If you cannot safely do this, then saving three or $400 is not worth it. Go buy a custom cover that can be applied from the ground. I can safely get on top of the roof of our coach, so that is not an issue for me. The instructions that come with it are very detailed, and for some coaches would be the correct way to use this cover. However, our coach is 13 feet tall, and Sherry had a hard time throwing the top strap weighted bag up to me. Yes, but after five or six tries, I did make it. Are you trying to say I throw like a girl? There had to be a better way. The way I now use is to take the whole cover up on the roof and unfold it there. After the cover is unfolded, I secure the top straps to the front vent cover, then drape the cover over the front of the coach. This allows me to center the cover. You can see that I had to add some rope so the cover top strap could reach something on the roof. That rope stays on the roof even when we travel, doesn't move. Once the cover is centered, I can come down from the roof and secure the bottom. The cover has openings on the bottom edge that allow you to secure it to the wiper arms. These just happen to match up exactly to the wiper arm posts, so I just press them on over the posts. This is part of making it fit better. I can then secure the bottom straps to the mirror on the driver's side, but the mirror on the passenger side is in front of the windshield, so that wouldn't work. For the passenger side bottom strap, I secure it to the front awning mount for the door awning. Now it's time to tighten everything up to prevent it from moving in the wind, starting with the wiper posts. The cover comes with Velcro straps that allow you to tie to the wipers. I use these to anchor the cover to the wiper posts I've already secured it to. Next, tighten the mirror straps, and that is it. I make sure to tie up the loose ends of the straps to prevent them from damaging the finish of the coach by rubbing it as it is being moved in the wind. It's a lot cooler inside the coach now, so my idea worked, didn't it? Yes, dear, it worked. And we are cooler. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.